Hello, my name is Kyle Pugh with WebUcator. During this video, I'll be demonstrating a process of debugging your Lambda expressions in your C Sharp applications. This demonstration is based on a blog post provided by Dirk Strauss. For the full article, feel free to visit the URL provided below. And I'd like to thank Dirk for allowing us to create this video and share it with you. All right. So I've opened up Microsoft Visual Studio Express 2015 and I've created a simple Windows C Sharp console application. And I've put a, a few little lines of code inside of the main method of this console application to help demonstrate the techniques that we have now to debug Lambda expressions. So kind of high level here, just describe what I have so far. The first line of code that I have creates a simple list object, a generic list of string type, and I filled it with a variety of names of various lengths. The next line that I have here creates a Lambda expression that searches that list to find names that have more than six characters in length. So I've got my list, I've got my Lambda expression to help me search that list, and then I've got a simple loop to help me output the results from that Lambda expression to be able to see those names that have more than six characters within them. So let's take a look at a, a few text techniques that we have here to help us debug this Lambda expression that I've created here. And, and on top of that, add perhaps a little more accessibility to expressions within our applications. So the blog post mentioned at the beginning of this video mentions three ways for us to be able to debug and get access to a Lambda expression. We're going to take a look at, at two of them here during this video. So the first one that I want to point out here deals with your full-blown in debug mode of your application. Now I want to be able to perhaps watch the Lambda expression values and perhaps make tweaks to those values as I'm running my application. So first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to place a breakpoint within my code and I'm going to do it right when my my first lists my list generic string list gets generated and populated. So I'll click off to the left there and place in my breakpoint and I'm going to go ahead and run my application. I'll start it there at the top of my screen. So again, this is a console application. We saw the console window pop open for a moment, but now I'm inside of debug mode. So I can see that I'm currently looking at my list. It's being generated, it's being populated with those names. I'm gonna advance my uh, code here a little bit. I'll hit my F11 key to be able to step into my code. This will take me down to my next block where my Lambda expression is now being uh, generated and starting to search that list created previously. Now my Lambda expression currently says that it's going to search that list called names and look for any names that have a length of greater than six characters and then place those values inside of a new list that I am now creating kind of on the fly within my application. Now I can watch my Lambda expressions, one of our technique techniques that we can use to debug the Lambda expression. I've got my watch window open down at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to come in, I'm going to highlight my Lambda expression. I'll get from uh, names.where and then my actual Lambda expression there. I'm going to right click on it and I'll add it to watch, to the watch window. And I now have that Lambda expression down available to me in my watch window. And I can see if I, if I click on the little arrow off to the left of it, that three of the seven names that I have within that names list contain more than six characters. Now, a really neat thing here is not only do we get to view that and actually see the contents of it within our watch window, but I'm in debug mode. I can make some tweaks here and see what happens to the results. So I'm going to come back in and say, you know what, six, that's great. You know, what am I going to get if I pass in four? I'll hit my enter key. Now I'm going to go ahead and expand it back out again through that little, little arrow in the corner. And now I've got how many back? 
I've got six of those seven names back. So as I'm running the application and in debug mode, I can watch that Lambda expression and I can make tweaks to that Lambda expression and see the results that come out as I make those updates. So this is just one of the techniques that we now have to be able to debug Lambda expressions. Here's another one. I've still got the same application running here, the same instance. I'm going to come up to the large names variable that I created. This is the variable or the generic string list that I've created here that's going to hold all of those names that are greater than six characters or four characters or whatever it is that we specified here. But I've hovered my mouse over the top of it. Uh, I get my little tooltips window that comes up on me and I'm going to go ahead and tack it or pin that little window. So now as I'm in debug mode, I can constantly keep an eye on that variable that I've created called large names. Now here's, here's a big benefit that we get in regards to Lambda expressions. I can now take that large names variable that I'm now essentially penned and watching. I'm going to right click on it and I have an option to add an expression. So right here, as I'm debugging, I can add an expression, a Lambda expression, right to this variable. So I'll place one in here. I'll say, oh, we'll take names again. And I'll say where. And I'll create my expression. And then rather than, than length that I was playing with before, now I want to find all the names that start with the specific character. So I'll say starts with and I'm going to have it search for the letter K. I know that I've got a couple of names within that list called names that start with the letter K. So now I've added an expression to that variable right here in debug mode. I'll hit my enter key. I'm going to go ahead and expand that out and I can see that I've got Kendall and Kyle two values within that names list that start with the letter K. And again, as I'm debugging the application, I can watch my Lambda expressions, I can make updates to those Lambda expressions and change the values and see what happens as I'm debugging. And on top of that, I can go directly to my variables, pin them, continually watch those variables, check their values and such, but then on top of that, I can add an expression to it, a Lambda expression to it, and watch those values and continue to make tweaks to it here as well. There we have it. Debugging your Lambda expressions in your c -sharp applications. For this and more tips and tricks, feel free to visit the full website found at the URL below.